What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Oblivion. I don't know what episode we're on. I'm already losing track because I'm just mass recording these. But uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Hope you guys are enjoying some of the clips that I've been getting. If I've been getting any. Um, oh shit, what'd she want? Pardon me. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was sent to ask for your help. Okay. Who are you? My manners. I'm Ross of Norvalo. My husband, Gillen, has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Yeah. Sure. Normally I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seems so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. That's all right. Thank you. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. You're to meet him at Serador's house, which is located in the Temple District. He said all will be explained when you get there. That's all he told me to say. Okay, heard. Let's, uh... Thank you. Let's just go. Sure Fuck him. I must go now. Good day to you. Good day to you, my fair blue lady. Is it racist to call her an elf, or is that just what she is? I don't know. The arena. Look at this. Is this guy having sex with... No. Jesus kneeling. I hope. This guy got an arrow, and that's pretty cool. Alright, where are we going now? Let's see the missions. The missions. The missions. Is this just in a matter of what... Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to do those writing things here, because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Let's just get to this guy's house and uh, maybe wait till the morning. Ugh, it's like nighttime. Shit. See, if it's like two hours, I'll wait, but it's like eight hours. I feel like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just wait till it's nice. I, I like when it's bright out. Like, the night's cool and shit like that. It just has to be, like, you know, more nighty of a mission. But this is really cool. I love the sky in Bethesda games. They do a great job. The technology didn't change between... Uh, like, look, look, look at that. That's a fucking awesome sky. You can't... F they did a great job. The Skyrim mods, which I can't wait to play that game on here and, and get into that. I just want... What's this? Wanted poster. The Gray Fox wanted for theft. Okay. Gray cloak conceals his appearance. That's pretty broad. Between five and six feet. That's like... It could be like anybody. Normal weight. What's a normal weight? Like, like healthy, healthy weighted. Like I get if you're fat, you're not normal weight. If you're oh, underly skinny, you're not normal weight. But there's like, like normal weight is relative. And then they don't even know his hair and eye color. They just know this is the this is who we have to find. So his thing that he has to do is take off his mask and we still don't know what he looks like because we don't know his hair or eye color he could be any height between average human height and uh he's normal he's normal weighted the city watch the imperial watch the guards in this game are like hilariously bad hey yes you heard what i said about you he's that thief the Imperial Watch are always going on about. He likes to steal from rich folk. Doesn't everybody? The Emperor is dead. And so are his heirs. We're a legion without a leader. The blades were trusted with our Lord's protection. And they failed. I'm a blade. Don't talk shit about my peeps. Is this the house? All right, let's wait till. Nah, can I go in there? Literally, just wait till this time. Why the fuck, bro? Maybe wait till ten, eleven, whatever. Okay, so I don't know if this is the house, but this might be it. Hey. No, this isn't the house. Unless he's upstairs. Because it seemed like... No, this isn't the house. What do you do, anyway? 
Stantus Farid. I'm not a priest anymore, just a private seeker in search of white light. Okay, that's cool and all, but like... Was it very fast? He's that wanted criminal. Isn't he a master thief? I hear he's dangerous too. I've heard that the beggars spy for him. He's that Imperial Watch Captain that's always chasing after the Grey Fox and the Thieves Guild. Chasing after shadows, if you ask me. The Thieves Guild probably doesn't exist, and it's a sure bet the Grey Fox doesn't either. Look around. Count the true believers. How many of these people really have faith? It's easy to have faith when everything's fine. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Can I barter with, can I barter with you? Yes. Persuade. No, fuck it. Bye. I'm just starting to notice those little uh, notches at the bottom. Like, it's a very different system. It's a little bit more primitive. Like It says it's right here, but I could be wrong. Oh, wait, I'm so stupid. Go out, around, and outside. Hey. My children will thank you for your help. What did I do? It's a fairy tale. The Imperial Watch pretends there is a thief king named the Grey Fox who controls all the thieves of Cyrodiil. Of course, it's all just made up to give them an excuse to keep us down. That would have been a better uh, a thing to say on the poster. Like, he's potentially the master of a thief army, the Thieves Guild. Thank you, kind sir. Like, if she knows that, here, take a piece of gold. He's a fair. Oh, we already talked to you about this. If you're looking for books, first edition is the. Okay. Blessings of Mistara are upon me. Thank you. Who the fuck's that? Now. Damn it. I didn't go to the right area. What the fuck? What is going on, buddy boy? Speed. Is this it? Oh, this is it. I'm so stupid. I'm just going the wrong way. I think I was in the right building. I was just. On, like the wrong side of it. Oh, here we go. Good morning. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard <clears> you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Serider. I Serider. I'm Birbider. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. All right, let's go. Watch your step. Where are we going? Who are you? I'm Sylvan Dolomas, assistant and bodyguard to Serido. Let's leave it at that. Oh, you're doing a little bit more. What's you're serenading the Serenader? Don't don't lie to me, bro. I got that dar, bro. You know what I mean? I can sniff I can sniff out a fox in a hen house. Sniff out a wiener dog in a cat house. Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed home. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings. Yes. Feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Alright, so I just fiddled with my green screen for about 40 minutes. Um, and the reason you guys are going to get a little bit of this transparency is I think just because the room is dark. And But we were talking to this vampire guy. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. Okay. So far. We've been unsuccessful finding okay. them. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Come to the order's attention. The Temple District resident. Hello. There you go. Much better. And has already claimed one thing. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. All right, I'm down. A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. 
Roland was gone, and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. It's funny that, like, they want me to do this shit, but I'm like, I just escaped prison, dude. That's all I did. I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We I'm just doing that from now on. I don't know how the fuck I did that, but... I auto-attempted. Jesus Christ, I hate lockpicking. Fuck, I'm taking your stupid tomatoes, you jackass. Searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where the two would meet. It's located east of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. I think that maybe where Roland could be hiding. I should head out there immediately before the a chance to escape. I cannot wait for you to return from Vival. My heart swells with joy as I know we will once again soon be together. I yearn for you every night that I should look beside me in my bed and you are not there. How I wish I could have taken the journey with you, but I understand that these are dangerous times. And I would only slow you down. When you return, perhaps we should get away from the chaos of the Imperial City. Let's go back to the cabin in the woods. The one where you said you would always be safe from the world. The, I don't know why I'm turning into a different person now. The one where you took me in your arms and sang songs of moonlight and happiness. The one where you said I love you. Harry, my love. Ralphina. Give me a letter. Oh. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. Camp out here. I believe we have been to Fort Common before. So we're gonna walk up the road. Mm. Sorry, dog. I actually don't know if we've been here. That being said, uh, as I mentioned an episode or two before, the thing I like to do is to uh, completely, I don't know, make sure that I'm like walking to objectives before I just fast travel everywhere, because if I fast travel everywhere, I'm going to beat this game in like a span of a week and a half. So I really much, uh, I really just want to walk everywhere. Like, at least, not, not, unless, if I discover the location, I don't have to walk there. That's my rule. If I haven't discovered it, I at least have to get to somewhere where I possibly have discovered. There's a fire down there. And then walk there. Is there another Oblivion Gate up here? Oh, shit. There's another Oblivion Gate over here. Should we shut this bitch? Yeah, let's shut this bitch. Hey. The fuck you think this is, bro? Let's shut this bitch, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on now. We gotta get... It's the same thing it should be, right? This time we got no help, but we're good. We don't need no help. Chill-ass oblivion. I would like to live here. These look like the dragon walls from Skyrim. We need to get into one of these towers. I believe it would be that one. And shut down that, uh... The, the candle. To turn off the candles of oblivion. Fire. Watch this. Fire. Watch this. Fire. Fire. I'm so good at burn demons, bro. I'm so good. Here we go. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Hey, motherfucker. Stupid thing, but fucking red shit at me. Oh, hey. I don't have a magic. I don't need magic, bro. I got the Holy Spirit. This thing is like shooting fire at me. I'm like, ah, what is it? Oh, shit. I got fuck. That guy was easier than the little ones, bro. How many Oblivion Gates are in this game? I guess over here? I think that's an... That ends... I mean, that's a bridge, obviously, but... Okay, maybe not over here. The tower portal. Beautiful. Okay, this is what we need. Let's go. Bah! Hit him with the magic. Hit him with the fire. Hit him with the magic fire. Hit him with the magic fire spell. Hit him with the magic fire spell. I missed. Fuck. Just hit him with the sword. Hit him with the sword. That's uh, probably the most effective. I don't waste any of my magic. So, yeah, we gotta make it to the top of the tower, turn off this thing, and then go find this vampire motherfucker's house. And then we'll start the next video there. But right now... 
Let's take care of these demons, bro. These little bastards. These little crustaceans. A little cigarette koalas, as Theo Vaughn would say. There's definitely more spells I haven't... There's obviously way more spells I haven't learned, but I just don't know... The rank up system. This is a level one. I shouldn't be a level one. I don't think so. Okay. Sigillium Thangalith, whatever it's called. Is this it? Close the gates of oblivion. Oh shit. Bah! Missed you with the fire. I blocked that fire with my sword, bro. There we go. The gates of oblivion, bro. I shut you. I shut you down, bro. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's over. Okay. Oblivion is closed. There we go. We are almost at the house now. That was a nice little uh, fun detour. There is probably a way I haven't been ranking up. Here's his cabin in the woods that was right next to a demon portal. It's not really low key. I've arrived at Olin's cabin. I should proceed inside to see if he's here. I should be cautious as Sirader warned me if the vampires are Okay. We'll be okay. We'll be good. There's not going to be a soul in here. Watch. Oh shit. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Good news from Kvat for a change. The last of the Daedra have been driven out. Oh, that's good. Uh oh. I skipped that by accident. That bastard. Siri do dares accuse me of being a vampire. Me? Ah, he's the one who is the vampire. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I've forgotten my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Rothina was the love of my life. For the first time I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Relfina. Yes, I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Relfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Serida. He became startled for a moment and tossed Relfina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. Oh, that's horrible. Was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Yeah. I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. Okay. Remain leery of Serid. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I asked that one. To... I'm going. I'm going. I'm sorry. Uh, let's load back to the city where we will. I've stayed my hand. Can I go back to where it was? Can I go back to like the Imperial City if I? Like I want. I want to go back to the town and say like, no, he's a vampire. He's a asshole. What the fuck? Alright, let me go back to the uh, gardens district, market district, which one was it? I 
I guess this is it. I forgot. It reminds me of being over here for some reason. But I want to activate the quest. Hang on. So these are current quests. Okay, I see. Activate. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, like, just not let him live? Am I supposed to kill him eventually? Wait, what's going on? Alright, we're going back to Roland's cabin. Sorry. I just don't know what the fuck to do. Thank you for sparing your trust. The Grey Fox sound. I know about Ceridor and his secret order. Better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them. You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market. There you go. I should have just did that. I know he goes there occasionally. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greythroat anything, but you could always try. Okay. As you know, the vampire can't remain in sun. I'd wager that you'll never see Seridor outside during that time of day. Remain leery. Okay. So now we go back to the market district, travel to the market district, we'll go back to the bookstore, talk to the guy, lure the guy outside, burn him the fuck alive. Hello. Hello. Hi. children are starving, please help. No, I give you a dollar yesterday, that's enough to feed the children. Hey, bookman! What can I do for you? Well, this is a dickhead guy. Alright guys, so let me, uh, we're gonna look for the next one real quick and see where we're going. Which would be over here, Memorial Cave. Um, we'll take the cabin down seems like the fastest route so we'll fast travel to the cabin and we will start this episode uh, we'll start the next episode with this one all right guys well thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed we closed an oblivion gate we did some stuff got some stuff done you know little short but sweet kind of videos so i could pack in the whole journey for you guys but uh thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day and if you guys want to see anything speci uh, specific just let me know but otherwise, subscribe for more. Thanks, guys. Bye.